Hello, um, welcome to another video. Cheers. So you're going to stay at home for this one. I just bought a wee, um, like a cast iron cauldron to cook on. I've got a wood stove that's called a, a practice stove. I think it's from like India. I'm going to cook outside. I'll show you that when I set it up. Um, and I'm going to make some beef olives. That's about it. And I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. It's got a, a little truffle, a big heavy, like you couldn't take this camping, but it's a big heavy cast iron plate in there. And then it's kind of insulated, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty heavy beast. Um, and then a, a bit at the top, so. And then I'll also show you, yeah, that's my wee cauldron. And I got that from Balgo of Larder, watch out Chiffs. Which is kind of a local farm shop. So go check it out if you haven't. And yeah, that's my cauldron. Cool as that. So hopefully it fits in this wee stove. Which... It's about a cast iron skillet. Oh shit which isn't actually too heavy uh, obviously it won't be used for lightweight hiking trips or anything but for a lavish bushcraft overnighter where I'm not going too far that'd be perfect
people. Try again. So I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the brand new car saying all the oil coming out of it. So I'm just letting it get really, really hot. To, I think it's called seasoning. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it to get really roasted and hot. Um, That crazy, it smells like burning plastic almost. So we'll see. It's definitely hot. <laughs> yep, that's me set up my wee camp kitchen outside. The stove is just sticking along nicely and getting some coals, which is awesome. I just took the cast iron off because it was beyond hot. Um, but yeah, before I start cooking, it's my first beer that I've got. Lager, Keith. Big flavoured lager. 4.5%. Uh, brewed in Scotland by people who are mostly not called Keith. <laughs> Brewed and bottled in the Keith Brewery in Keith. Crisp, refreshing, golden lager brewed from multi, malted barley, yeast and other things that get mass, master brewers really excited. But as you're probably not one of them, we'll shut up and fill the rest of the label with a sentence. You can stop reading now. So yeah, I'm going to have that. This is a bit of a hybrid video of using camping stuff and that's my oil bottle. Um, mm. Gonna lemony almost. Anyway, so I'm going to make beef olives. This thing weighs a ton. I've got some butcher's beef olives. The butcher shop is really good there. That's the only reason I go all the time. Um, this guy. Always about when there's food. So for anyone that doesn't know what beef olives are, so it's basically like a minute steak wrapped up in, uh, well, beef sausage wrapped up in minute steak. I think that looks like Lorden sausage. Um, which is going to be good. I'm not going to do this too, like, traditionally. I'm actually going to use that rump rub on them as well, make it a bit spicier and more interesting. Uh, I'm a bit obsessed with it at the moment. I think it's been in every video I've done. So I'm just going to start off by sealing all the beef and getting a really good colour on it. Um, uh, but that's going to help make a really nice sauce. 
Uh, make sure your pan's, I mean, really hot. Smoking hot is kind of what you're, what you're looking for. Just gonna put a couple of tablespoons of oil in there, and I'm gonna. This stuff is pretty spicy, so I'm going to be moderate with it. Normally I'd use more kind of traditional herbs, like thyme and rosemary and stuff in it, but I can't spice up my life. Okay, here goes to the new collagen. Just gonna wait a wee bit till that heats up again. Find <coughs> Nicola home. What's a mess? Huh? So I'm gonna sear them up. Slice my onions. All the veg is from bought from the farm shops, it's all from local farms, or at least in Scotland. Muddy carts. Right, get out of it, Chuffs. Chuffle loves carrots. Loves carrots. So the other things I'm going to put in is my leek, uh, probably a quarter of this turnip, or neep, as we call it in Scotland, and then some awesome muddy golden, golden wonder potatoes.
Okay, so that's it. Everything's in the pan. Just cooking down now. Um, just trying to have a bit of a clear up so I don't get mooned up by the girlfriend. Or fiance. Nearly wife. So I'm just going to cook that down a wee bit more. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to add my beef olives to it. So there. And uh, some beef stock. And then I'm just going to pop the lid on and let it simmer for about probably 45 minutes to an hour maybe. Um, just so the beef's a wee bit tender and everything's just cooked together nicely. Oh, the stove is great. Love it. Really easy to use. Shuffle's hoovering up for me. Enjoy my beer now. Cheers. Just some water I put in there and a beef stock cube. And then I'm going to keep the lid on while it comes up to the boil and keep the fire going. What did we do, Truffs? We cut all our veggies and then sweated it all down. And then cooked them off as you saw. And then, um, yeah, just bunged in all our toma uh, tomatoes, potatoes, turnip, onion, carrot, leek, a few cloves of garlic, smashed that all in there. Put in our beef that we seared off, uh, cooked it down and then um, covered it with stock lid on and then we're going to wait for that to cook until it's all soft and tender and cook through and uh, enjoy my beer. See you when it's ready. Ooh. 
spicy. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I don't know if you're interested in this kind of style of video, but I've enjoyed it and I've enjoyed using my new cauldron and the stove. It's been cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to eat this and drink my other beer and uh, that'll be me. But I'll catch you next time. Peace.